Hey DJs, it's Ryan Cher here with Dex3. This is a quick demonstration of the sample decks, the sampler in Dex3. We're going to cover some of the basics today. Hope to do a video pretty soon here that covers some more of the advanced functionality. Dex3 has a sample player or sample decks, eight sample decks to be exact. It can be accessed in either the four deck or two deck skin. Now when you're looking at the default four deck skin in Dex3, there is a button at the very top next to the FX button, square in the middle here, with six little squares on it. That is the sample deck tab. When you click that, you will access your sample players. Okay? On the two deck skin, we'll toggle to that real quick, which you can do from the button up top that has the one and the two on it. It's going to be the main tab here, the middle one with the little note on it, the musical note. When you're on that tab, you will see your eight sample decks. So it doesn't matter if you're using the two deck or four deck skin. If you load your samples, they're going to be accessible in either the four deck or two deck skin as well. So we'll toggle back to the four deck skin in Dex3. And there you've got your eight sample decks. Currently, there is nothing loaded in these. Now to load a sample from your hard drive, such as maybe applause, uh, siren horn, something like that, you can do it a couple different ways. You can double click the center, the empty area here and it'll open up to Windows Explorer or Finder on Mac. That will allow you to navigate your hard drive, locate your folder where your samples are stored, so you can load them from there. So you can just, once you're in the folder, you can just double click the song, or rather the sample, just click it once really, and it's gonna load to the deck. I'll show you one more time. Just click in the middle, or let's show you a different way you can load the, the deck. You can use the little eject button, and that'll open up to Explorer Finder, where you can double click the track, or rather the sample, to load to the deck. And there you have it. So you can load that way. You can also just click the text above the player to open up to Finder or Explorer, and you can double click your sample. Now to play the samples, if you single click the middle area, now this is with the keyboard and mouse, of course, for the purpose of this demonstration. However, all the DJ controllers that we support in Dex3 that have pads, um, they usually are mapped to the sample players, uh, which I find much easier to control them, and you can do some pretty heavy duty things with finger drum drumming and things like that, um, that lend itself very nicely while you're mixing, because you can trigger things in real time with dedicated buttons, but I know a lot of people do successfully DJ with Dex3 using a keyboard and mouse. Um, so we're going to show you here now how to play the sample or trigger the sample. You can just click the middle window once to play it, or you can click the play button to play it, uh, or if you're using a keyboard and mouse, you can lose, use the learn feature to map a keystroke or a key, you know, a key uh, shortcut to the play button. So I already mapped uh, by one button. I'll just show you real quick how this is done. It's very simple. You click the play button once, you click the button on your keyboard you want to map it to, and you click learn again to exit. Now, until I change it in the future, two will always trigger my sample. So if you click the play button real fast, it's kind of like a play cue. The same thing applies when you use a key, keystroke or if you've got sample, um, you know, sample pads on your DJ controller it'll work the same way. Um, if you click the middle window, however, you only really want to click that once. If you double click it, it's going to open up to Explorer Finder so you can load another sample. So that's just a quick tip. Now what some of the other controls do here in the sample player is you've got the headphone cue ability. So if you're using a multi-channel Pro Audio USB interface, you can cue the sample in your headphones before sending it live. Um, you also have the ability to loop sample with the little loop button here next to the thing. So that just uh, will do what a typical loop would do. You hit play. It's going to keep playing the sample until you stop it. Now to stop the sample player, say you trigger the sample and you want to stop it beforehand or stop it short, you can just right click on the play button to stop it immediately. And that's with a keyboard or rather with a, with a mouse of course. So you also have the ability to sync the sample. So you can choose how many beats based on what the master out is. In this case, we're at 116 BPM. So if I choose eight beats, the 
just as an example. So, you know, some samples obviously will have a solid beat. You know, a lot of people will use a sampler to lay in like a backbeat. Um, and then obviously the decks at that point, the sample decks will automatically calculate and display the BPM of that sample. For short samples like this, obviously, there's not going to be a BPM calculation because there's no true BPM here. Um, so you also have some obvious stuff, such as volume control. that just controls the volume of the sample. You also have the ability to filter, to add a filter to the sample. Which works just like the low pass, high pass filter found in DEX3. And you also have the ability to change the pitch of the sample. So we can get a pitch it up quite a bit or make it real now that will also affect the tempo so it's a it's a true pitch adjustment it's not master tempo or uh, time stretched um, nor is it um, you know key locked so it's it's basically just standard pitch so that's it you can control all those things right from each sample deck independently and uh, you can really layer these in and have fun with it, especially if you're using a DJ controller. Uh, I know some mobile DJs like to use samples like applause or horn or siren just at, at various times of the, the night. Or they can even load a full track or a short track um, for like the intro to the daddy daughter dance or something such as that. Uh, so that's it. Now the other thing the sample decks are capable of is sampling your master output in real time. The way you would do that is you'll just have a song playing. Actually, let's try this over here. So just like kind of like a loop in, loop out would work on uh, you know the regular decks in Dex 3, you just trigger the record button once to make the in point of the, the sample, hit it again for the, for the out point, and it's gonna you know, save and store that sample in the deck. So let's just start it over real quick. Hit it once, hit it again, and there's your sample. Now these samples are WAV files, so it's actually sampling the track and storing that WAV file in the sampler folder on your hard drive. Uh, so you can go in and delete those samples and manage them there as well. Um, obviously the sample will be date stamped uh, as well, um, but if you do edit the sample in the folder on your hard drive uh, and then reopen the, the software, you can actually label it however you please. Uh, so obviously, you play it. It's the little loop that I that I sampled. We can loop it. I'm a little off on my timing. You get the point. So you can use this, you know, like I said, to kind of really layer in your mix, create new sounds right there on the fly. Now I will put out another video soon with a more in-depth demonstration of some of these things you can do. Probably going to have an overhead cam with the controller set up, so you can really see how much fun you can have with it, with figure drumming and so forth. Uh, if you got any questions about the sample decks, how to load them, uh, or if you have anything you want us to shoot a future tutorial video on, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.